today. Thank you so much. It's great to have Senator okay. Kirk. I hope you Thank get you. a deal together so much. Thank I you. think the country Thank needs you. some action. Senator Judd Gregg of New Hampshire joins us right now. He sits on the banking committee as well. Senator Gregg, let me ask you about this. I, I watched Geithner this weekend on Meet the Press, and I, what I lack, what I see there is a lack of passion. I don't sense a guy who's willing to really go at the bad guys. I mean, I would be angry. Oh, I am that there's so much genius. These guys should be physicists. They should be Nobel Prize winners. And they take their 190 IQs up to Wall Street and they figure out clever instruments they can use to make a billion dollars for doing nothing except steal it. Does that bother you like it does normal people? <laughs> of course. Uh, nobody wants anybody to be stealing stuff. But I think the core question here is can we reach a bipartisan package? And I think Senator Corker's outlined it pretty effectively. Yes, we can. We, we actually, Senator Corker was working on one section resolution. I was working on another section derivatives with Jack Reed of Rhode Island. We were basically there on an agreement. And then this all got very political very quickly, unfortunately. You heard the president's comment, some response on our mm -hmm. side. That's not constructive. My suggestion is this. Let's step back, take a mature and thoughtful approach to this. I think you're right that Chris Dodd would like a bill and he'd like a constructive bipartisan bill. And let's take the second sections which have pretty much been worked out, the four major sections, consumers, how you reorganize the regulatory agencies, resolution authority and derivatives, and work off those sections and get it done and get, a, get something the American people can say, hey, these guys work together and they produce something that's going to hopefully reduce the chance of a systemic risk event occurring again. Can you ever get as smart as the guys on Wall Street to stop them from uh, doing these abuses? Is it possible to write regs that work? Well, it would be foolish to try to do that because you'd get much too into the detail and get too literal and you'd end up inevitably creating unintended consequences. What you want to do is make sure you create a structure where first the regulatory agencies have the authority and the flexibility to step forward when they see something that's right. amiss. And secondly, have a market that has the information, in other words, transparency, uh, and also has uh, adequate liquidity and capital so that it disciplines itself to some degree. Those are the two keys to getting that done. I don't, I don't think specific targeted regulation would ever accomplish it because, as you say, there are a lot of smart people out there who can figure out how to get around that yeah. stuff. Is there any more Teddy Roosevelt in the Republican Party, trust busting, reform on Wall Street, that kind of thing we all grew up loving? We all love Teddy Roosevelt because he was tough on these guys. Is there still that spirit in the Republican Party or, or has it gotten too bourgeois? Gosh, I didn't know you were that old, Chris, that you grew up with oh, Teddy come on. Roosevelt. You, you I heard me. earlier that you were a socialist, and now I've learned two new things about you. Um, listen, yeah, uh, along with J. Edgar Hoover. I'm in, I'm in really tough customers there. Uh, the, the actual, the, the initiative here from our side of the aisle is to end too big to fail. I mean, that's, we our basic concerns with the Dodd language, although they've been to some degree hyperbolized, is that it does not clearly end too big to fail. The markets cannot work effectively if there's a concern or if there's a belief that the taxpayer will come in and support some company that's in serious trouble. That just shouldn't happen. There should be absolute, it should be absolutely clear that if a company gets into trouble, it's going down, its stockholders are going to get wiped out, its unsecured bondholders are going to get wiped out, and it's going to go through some sort of resolution, probably a bankruptcy situation, where it doesn't come back. It just gets broken up. And that's basically our position. It's basically the, the Corker Warner proposal. Unfortunately, the Dodd bill did not did not incorporate the Corker Warner proposal in totality, and it should have if it wanted to get to this issue correctly, in my opinion. How does somebody make a billion dollars because he plans for another, other people to lose a billion dollars? I'm looking at this scandal where this company, Goldman Sachs, came up with a plan to get people to invest in a billion dollars in, uh, in, in, in the big instruments they were betting on. How do you get somebody else to pick up that billion dollars? Have you guys figured that out in the Senate? Well. Let, let's look at this. Uh, you know, this is an anecdotal event. I don't think we should actually legislate around anecdotal events. But you got to remember, it's like a, like when you go in the market and you buy a stock. Let's say you buy XYZ stock. Somebody else is selling you that stock. So somebody thinks it's going to go up and somebody thinks it's going to go down. In this case, both sides of the ledger were extraordinarily sophisticated people. Uh, yeah. So there's a very significant question as to whether or not it was properly disclosed. If it was improperly disclosed, you have a fraud issue. But if it was properly disclosed, basically you got two sides to this deal. One one group thought it was going up. One through. I thought it was going down. That's the way the markets work. There always has to be a buyer, there has to be a seller, and somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose. In this case, they were doing, de these were huge companies and they were dealing in huge dollars, and it's, it's hard for those of us who are to understand those types of dollars, but the fact is, it's just like buying a, yeah, buying a car down at the local car lot. If you, if you make a good deal, you do well. If you make a bad deal, you do poorly. Yeah, well, I think you're too Assuming sophisticated. No I have a sort of a moralistic objection to people making a billion dollars because somebody else made a wrong bet, and they knew the guy that got them to make that bet. 
Well, if that's the case, then you've got an issue, and that's why the SEC is there. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Senator Gre Judd Gregg of New Hampshire. Up next, former uh, President Bill Clinton on the question of his wife, perhaps, well, not really, but talking about with, uh, with Luke.